What up, G-Life? It's your boy, MC Shadow, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out the playlist. The playlist on top of all my videos in the folder to make the video you're looking for a lot easier. Whether it's just reaction to the G-Series, all of that, then the folders, you know. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe. It's free. And don't cost anything. You'll be helping my channel get into the algorithm. I would highly appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Man Society MOD, where we talk about stuff outside of the streets. Now, what I wanted to talk about was... Addressing that King, uh, the King Yella uh, discussion that everybody's been talking about, where you know he dissed LA, you know, and said that you know where where they at is more deadlier than right here, and that you know we pretty much ain't got shit on them. <laughs> now, fool, that fool's tripping, homie. Damn, dog, you already know we started this gangster shit. And this is the motherfucking things we get. Hello. Nah, I'm just fucking. <laughs> uh, I bet you people want that to be my response. Huh? But what all jokes to the side, truth of the matter is, when we're talking about the streets, actually, when we're talking about where we come from in general, no matter who you are, everybody's proud of where they come from. You don't even have to be a gang member for that. You know what I mean? Uh, regular day people are proud of where they come from. They're proud of their cities, their hometowns, you know, and all of that. You know, you see them when they get on, you know, game shows and, and, and shit like that. Like, oh, where are you from? Oh, yeah, California. What? You know what I mean? They Everyone's proud of the area they come from. And no one likes when somebody insults where they come from. Everybody has pride in their cities, their areas. That's just how it is. It's not just a gang related thing. I mean, this occurs with everybody. You know what I mean? Um... So, when you have, you know, Kiyela, basically that's really what it comes down to. More, more of the pride is going to be, you know, amplified when we're talking about the streets, right? Because everybody thinks that where they come from is the most gangsterish, is deadly, is the, the, the most savage, you know, area that no area comes close to your area. Um, as a matter of fact, here in Southern California, you get that a lot, you know, uh, even since back then till now, even in some places, you would get a lot of county banging, you know, uh, the guys from SD with this, the guys from LA, the guys from LA with this, the guys from Orange County, the guys from the San Fernando Valley with this over here and over there, and everybody was dissing each other, right? You want to know how, how toxic it gets when we're talking about uh, pride in our areas and stuff like that. Like, you'll have, like, let's just say, an example, you have a gang from Los Angeles, right? Now move to the area of Orange County or San Bernardino, let's just say, for example. And then, you know, you know, they start, you know, recruitment right there in, the, in that area. These guys will have such a big problem with it, bro, that they'll even all unite together, even if they, even if they're enemies, bro, even if their vatos beef it, they'll unite just to get these guys out of here, just because they don't, they're not from that county, they don't want them guys there, like, you know what I mean? Uh, um, it's like they see them as like outsiders, and even though we're all Southsiders and Sureños and like. You know, like that shit doesn't make no sense. Yeah, these bros are not going to want them there. You know what I mean? Um, they're not going to like it. Because they kind of see it like these guys are trying to think that they could start wherever, you know, because L.A. itself doesn't say this, but everybody says it for it. It has this reputation to it. Like, they think that they're the best, the originators, the creators. And they get this stigma to them, right? Like, they're the downers, the craziest. So everybody has an issue with that. You know what I mean? Um, everybody has, you know, like, oh, right, we're crazy too. Like, what do they have that we don't have? You know what I mean? Like, it's no biggie. Same with places like New York, Chicago, because whenever anybody talks about the gangbanging capital or or anything is, pu you know, like, publicized, uh, whether via, um, you know, media, news, you know, or propaganda movies and you know etc it's always revolves around los angeles you know what i mean the la area and i think a lot of these places have a problem with that like man how come they don't you know feature us? like we're just as crazy or just as down you get what i mean so it's kind of like that bitter you know bitter hatred towards that area uh because it gets you know amplified you know what i mean uh when everyone sees that they're just as witted and down and, and, but they are 
truth of the matter is that all these areas are with the business, homie. Is Chicago more crazier than L.A.? No. Is L.A. more crazier than Chicago? No. Is New York more crazier than Chicago or L.A.? No. Uh, you know, L.A. more crazier than New York or Chicago? No. 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 Is Orange County, San Bernardino? No. 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 You could lose your life in Chicago. You could lose your life in New York. You could lose your life in Orange County, i.e. Riverside, San Diego, San Fernando Valley, Palmdale, L.A., uh, Philadelphia, uh, you know, Baltimore, uh, Miami, uh, you know, France, you know, Italy, you know. You could lose your life anywhere, bro. If we're talking about the ghettos, the streets, the, you know, the underground lifestyle, the, you know, the... The taboo lifestyle. When we're talking about illegal activity, illegal organization, illegal groups, and all that, you could lose your life equally. They don't breed crazier killers in Chicago. They don't breed crazier killers in L.A. In uh, These organizations that come from the streets are going to brood some bad mother... You know what I mean? Regardless of where you come from. They're all willing to ride and take lives. It's just how it is. You know? And the shit that people be arguing about, you know what I mean? Like, who gives a damn who's crazy and stuff like that? Or who started the gangster thing? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> if, they, if they want to say they started the gangster shit, then fuck it. They, they started it. I'm not going to right there and be arguing with them, bro. If that that's how they want to see it, then that's how they see it, bro. Yeah, I don't care, bro. It's irrelevant to me what they think. Or what anybody thinks. You know what I mean? Like, there's better things to be you know, doing than arguing about who starts this gangster shit. <laughs> uh, the arguments we be having. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like, as in, you know, everyone thinks that their side is the most crazy, is the witty, is the roughest, the down is. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. It's normal. You know what I mean? And I'm and like I said, you don't even have to be gang related for that. You know, people that are not gang related even see it that way. They're proud of their cities and they don't want no one dissing their city or where they grew up. You know what I mean? They're gonna take offense to it, bro. It's in our nature to be proud of where we come from. You know what I mean? It's literally in our nature because we we feel like it's a sense of our character. It's a sense of, like, a piece of um, our identity. You know what I mean? Um, that's why we take offense to it. Um, that's why people are so prideful in the areas that they come from or they grew up and stuff like that. That's why whenever, you know, you talk about the best places, you know, it's always around the areas you roamed around with, around, you know, because of the memories, because you have that emotional attachment to it. That's why uh, no burger place or taco place or restaurant is better than the ones that you grew up eating and, you know, going to, or, you know, or they have the best, you know, deals there, or best cars or tattoos or whatever the fuck. That's why, you know, when, you, when you're when driving towards that area, you get those, you know, memories back and it brings you that joy, that comfort, you know what I mean? Because it, it's a part of you in a sense, you know, um, because you feel like it is a part of your, your, your identity. Um, that's why people, you know, hold that, you know, that bond uh, to that for, that's why, you know, um, and like I said, when we're talking about the street,